guys, today I wanted to talk about Nico Robin and if after One Piece Chapter 853 she's any less important. Now, the first thing we need to discuss is why she would be less important. To put it simply, Big Mom stated Pudding could eventually develop the same power as Roger, the power to hear the voice of all things, and would eventually be able to read the pony list and take them and help them get to Rattel. Now, this is where I feel I need to say this. Couple of things. One, it appears only Pudding can do this. This ability to develop the voice of all things, I don't think anybody can just develop it. I don't think any member of Three I Try can just develop it. I think that there's something unique to Pudding, number one. Number two, it's not like we're introducing a whole group of people who can do this. No. As far as we know, Pudding can, could develop its ability. We don't know if that's all members of the Three Eyed Tribe or not. But that still only means that Pudding did develop it. What two people could read the Pony List? Robin and Pudding. Like that's not that much of a difference. Another thing to note is that Robin can read the language. Pudding can only under like uh, hear them, I guess. Pudding can only hear them. Okay? Robin can read them, which means he can probably copy their language. He can probably write in them, too. I would, I would assume if you can read it, and you had the letters in front of you, Robin could write in it. And Robin is also an archaeologist, so Pudding can read the poems, but she won't be able to piece anything together, piece the history together the way Robin could. If you needed information explained to you, Pudding could get you to Rastel, but he couldn't definitely tell you something about the Void Sentry. Because she wouldn't have access to all the knowledge Robin does. Robin is incredibly knowledgeable. And that's one of the reasons she's the most important. Another thing that I feel needs to be discussed is Robin and Pudding, and the main difference between the two is that Robin is important at least to the story because she's a member of the Straw Hat Pirate. If Pudding could read the pony list, do you really think, let's say Kaido wants somebody to read the pony list to him? He's going to choose the straw hat. He's not going to be like, let's go take, let's go fight Big Mom over Pudding when we can just go and just take Robin, like, easily. So, I don't really think this changes anything. Some people are saying it, like, demoted Robin, she's less important. I don't think it changes anything from the sole fact that Robin, as a character, is in a more likely position to be kidnapped. Like, she's definitely not- she's definitely probably still gonna be kidnapped by Blackbeard. I mean, why would Blackbeard fight Big Mom when he needs to beat Luffy up? It doesn't make sense. And that, so, that's about all I had to say. I just wanted to make this quick video on the note because I never really talked about it. I will say, though, that Pudding could be very dangerous if you learn the ability. I don't even know if you'll ever learn it. All we know is that Pudding could develop the ability to hear the voice of all things. That's all we know. But I think Robin is still just as important. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think Robin less important to the story now? Now that there are so many characters. There are now three characters, potentially three characters that can potentially read the Poneglyphs. Or hear the Poneglyphs, I guess you could say. Monkey D. Luffy, Momonosuke, and Pudding. So does that make Robin less important? Does that kind of make her demote her status as like the most important person in, in the Straw Hat crew? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Twitter and check out my Facebook. The links to both of those are in the description box down below. Above all else, guys, have a great day. The One Beat Nation, signing out.